we have to start from uh, a new opening. And in that start or restart, as it's sometimes known, if all sides are serious about the collaboration, uh, we have to understand and accept the fact that based on today's uh, um, knowledge, there are many ways, many divergent and independent knowledge systems, science being one, indigenous knowledge being one, and then there are arguments, for example, that we have heard here about arts being one way of knowing. But it's very important to recognize that indigenous knowledge is a living, um, living thing that's being advanced by the people that have it. And it's a living connection with the ecosystems, with the land, with the air. Uh, there are indigenous knowledges of stars, star lore, ethno-astronomical -astro events about the moon, the northern lights. However, it's not data. It's not uh, available unless those knowledge holders decide to consent to work with other ways of knowing and agree on those terms. And that's what we really are, are talking about here. Uh, we always have to remember also that indigenous knowledge as it's known today and getting this appre appreciation and recognition from the big society and projects now was being actively suppressed for centuries, also in the Arctic. Church, the state, the governmental agencies worked ha uh, hard for centuries to destroy and eliminate that knowledge. For example,